Good day, fellow learners. This is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus, joining you once again, this time for our set number 38 for our next generation NCLEX RN pointers. And without further ado, let's begin. Before I get to start, I'd, less to, I'd like to ask for your help to join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide, once again, free NCLEX application and review to 100 nurses. We're able to do that for the past two consecutive years. We want to change the lives of our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the nursing profession. And I know we can do it if we cooperate. So to help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. Please don't skip. Thank you. So on to our pointers, step number 38. First question, what do we need to study? Here is my expert opinion. First on our list today would be pheochromocytoma. Now, pheochromocytoma is a tumor of the adrenal medulla. We know for a fact that as the term implies, adrena. So these are the glands on top of each kidneys. Now, your adrenal glands secrete your glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids, as well as your catecholamines, which are responsible for your fight or flight response. So therefore, if you have a tumor in your adrenal medulla, there's going to be an increased secretion of ephinephrine and norephinephrine. So what happens? The blood pressure will shoot up. So the main priority here is to monitor the client's blood pressure. And then other symptoms would include headache, hypermetabolism, hyperglycemia, and hyperalcemia. Don't forget, your methaniprine test is a test for pheochromocytoma. And once again, your priority should be to monitor the client's blood pressure. Okay, before we proceed any further, I'd like to congratulate Royce Visagas, USRM, from De La Salle Health Sciences Institute, who passed the New Mexico Board of Nursing last January 20. And here is his success recipe. Good day, Sir Ray. I was a GAPO student, and my journey with you started a year ago. Last Saturday, I took my next generation NCLEX and finished it at 85 items. Sobra po ako kinabahan, though I know how prepared I am naman. When I took the exam, talagang nahirapan po ako, but I still, I know deep in my heart, I have the foundations of learning because yan ang binigay ng Ray A. GAPO's review system sa akin. After two days, nag-email sa akin ang Board of Nursing ng State of New Mexico that I got my new USRN license. Congratulations and my hats off to you, Royce. I'm very thankful po sa inyong lahat sa Ray Gapos Review System. Malaking tulong po ang mga lectures nyo sa pagkanker ko ng entrance. It won't be easy, but it will be worth it. So, he spent a year preparing for the test. It's not about the length, colleagues. What matters is you put everything into your heart and into your mind. Congratulations, Royce, for a job well done. We're proud to have you as one of our mentees. Now, the second most important thing on our list now is actually liver cirrhosis. When we say liver cirrhosis, this happens when the liver becomes scarred. And it becomes permanently damaged. So in essence, it would no longer be able to facilitate the excretion of metabolic waste products. It would not be able to manufacture your um, clotting factors. And so eventually, all of these waste products accumulate in the body, giving rise to your manifestations of liver cirrhosis. Now, what are the things that you have to look for for you to be able to know that the patient could be suffering from liver cirrhosis. So jaundice or when the whites of the eye, of the eyes turn yellow, ascites or enlargement of the abdomen, clubbing of the fingers, as well as itchy skin because of the accumulation of bile salts. Now, the common causes of liver cirrhosis could be alcoholism, obesity, and of course, infection with the virus that causes hepatitis. So the priority goal of care for a client with liver cirrhosis is to slow the progression of the scar tissues in the liver, and that would entail modifying the client's diet. So the diet should be low sodium and 
low or moderate protein. If you can avoid the blue cheese, by all means. If you can avoid the cottage cheese, the Swiss cheese, the aged cheese, by all means, avoid it. And if in case um, you will be asked what would you need to know that would make you suspicious that the client's condition is progressing, well, when the patient exhibits flapping tremors or asterixis, that could mean the client has developed hepatic encephalopathy. And there's usually a drug that is given that's lactulose. It promotes the excretion of ammonia. However, common side effect of lactulose is diarrhea. Why? Because it changes the pH of the GIT. And any drug that changes the pH of the GIT would definitely cause diarrhea. Okay? Now, let me congratulate also our passers from all around the world who are increasing day by day, seconds by seconds, minute per minute. Okay? Now, the next one on our list is pelvic inflammatory disease. Now, um, clients with this condition are usually females who've had infection of the reproductive organs, meaning the uterus, fallopian tubes, and the ovaries. The most common cause related to your PID would be your gonorrhea and chlamydia. Now, what are the common risk factors? Well, those who are using intrauterine device are more at risk. This could also develop during menstruation or when there was abortion that was performed or in clients having multiple sexual partners and those who are below 25 years old who regularly douches. Because when you regularly douche, eventually you alkalinize the vaginal canal, which should maintain its acidity in order to fight off infection. So if you perform frequent douching, the vaginal canal may become alkaline, and that increases the risk for pelvic inflammatory disease. And of course, history of sexually transmitted infection will increase your pelvic inflammatory disease. How would you know that the client could be having pelvic inflammatory disease? Well, the patient could be having pelvic um, low abdominal pain, and then this pain comes with malodorous vaginal discharge or there could be unusual bleeding in between menses and painful sexual intercourse and you will know that you have an infection and you develop fever chills and painful urination now a potential complication of pelvic inflammatory disease could be strictures in the fallopian tube and that could lead to ectopic pregnancy so it's very important that the appropriate treatment should be done ASAP when your client is suffering from pelvic inflammatory disease, okay? So to pass the NGN, you have to learn how to navigate with technology. And here at the Ray Gapu system, we not only provide concepts to our learners the functional way, but we also teach them how to navigate technology through our technology-enhanced learning tools, okay? In fact, I asked one of our recent passers this question, which part of our review helped you the most? And this is a response. The TOP, that's a test overview program, is a software that we're using for our comprehensive review. And of course, 311 refers to NCLEX 311, the quick fix sessions. I attended the one from January 3 to 5 online, then repeated the recordings three times because you are given a recorded version. I repeatedly watched the pointers on YouTube, and most importantly, I put God first. The one phrase that kept lingering in my mind that you kept saying, I am next, that is powerful. So believe that you are next and you will be next. Okay? So we also have our partials. Those of you who would want to do their thing on their own, at your own time, at your own convenience, then we have this set of core shells you can use anytime, anywhere. So the most important requirement of all when you're preparing for your next generation NPLEX RN would be a conducive environment. Here at the Ray Gapo system, classes are convenient. And of course, we have our NGN simulation room. Okay, 
So I'd like to invite you for my next generation NCLEX RN class, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. And our fee starts at 3,499. It's your choice of live face-to-face -face class or live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, QBank plus these three books, NCLEX 311, the holy grail of passing the NCLEX. And of course, we also have our quick fix in pharmacology and nursing reminder sheets. So you get all of these three plus your live face-to-face -face classes or live virtual class. Remember, we do our classes live. You can always interact with the Radio Apposition Mentors plus our quick fix session. So this has been your mentor, your fact check by the Radio Apos saying one functional concept a day keeps your NCLEX RN fears away. See you in our next video.